In the previous part, we were talking about enhanced mode for fiber channel switching, and that mode has been available since the initial offering of the UCS. And benefits there were the fabric interconnect was not behaving like a fiber channel switch, it was not consuming domain IDs, it was not attaching to the upstream network like a switch. You did not have to worry about interrupt modes. It was lot simplified connectivity management model for fiber channel. One of the consequences of that, however, is because if a fabric interconnect is not behaving like a fiber channel switch and it's not processing the logins directly and handing out fiber channel IDs, then you cannot take fiber channel storage and connect it directly to the fabric interconnect. And there are some scenarios where you might want to do that. For example, in small pod deployment of UCS, you might have a well-contained pod of storage network and servers and setting up an extra fiber channel network just for the sake of attaching the storage to that pod is not desirable. And for larger data centers, it is suggested to deploy the fabric interconnect switch in an end host mode. Another observation would be that the switch mode is not suitable for larger deployments into larger data centers. So it would be better if you take that fiber channel storage and just connect it directly to the fabric interconnect. There is a switch mode now for fiber channel switching. So if you want to set up a pod with storage connected directly to the fabric interconnect, you can convert the fabric interconnect to the switch mode. When you do that, the fabric interconnect is going to behave like a fiber channel switch. So therefore, you can connect storage directly to a fabric interconnect now. So you simply pick some ports and define them as storage ports. And these can be FC or FCOE ports. And when you define the storage ports, you have to define the VSAN that the storage port belongs to. The zoning on the fabric interconnect is very basic and it's very default zoning on a per VSAN basis. So to provide that access, security and control of servers accessing the LUNs, we are going to leverage the LUN masking on your storage array. We can control which servers can be allowed to see which LUNs based on the worldwide names they are coming from, etc. Having made that ready, you can connect this fabric interconnect to upstream MDS network. The MDS will see the fabric interconnect as another fiber channel switch and will connect with trunking expansion ports and can run multiple vSANs and when that happens, you can also download the zoning table that was defined on the MDS down to the fabric interconnect. So the fabric interconnect doesn't have the advanced zoning, it's just that the inputs were not available. But if you did attach to MDS network, the MDS would download the zoning table into the fabric interconnect just like any other fiber channel switch would do.